Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. So I have a few of the new Guerlain Rouge G lipsticks. So they are releasing or they have released five new shades to the permanent collection. And I have three of the five here. And to go along with the lipsticks, I did purchase three uh, cases. They are not part of like a limited edition set or anything. They're just, you know, just some of the new cases. So I purchased Romantic Bohem, which is this gold. It's kind of like, I think they described it online as like a rose gold, but it's really, it's not that pink. It's a little bit more of a coppery gold, I guess. You know, it's definitely not like a yellow gold, but it's not quite as much as a true rose gold to me. It looks a little bit, a little bit less rose goldy to me. I'm not really sure. A little peachier versus pinkier, maybe. All right, so I purchased that case. I purchased Hype Purple. So purple is my favorite color, and one of the lipsticks they released is a bit purple, so I'm curious to try that. So there's this one, and these cases, when you, you buy them, they do come with a little um, piece of tape, basically, to keep that shut. And the Romantic Bohem actually had like a clear cover on it to like resist fingerprints or whatever. And then the other one that I purchased is called Simply White. And this is basically the, it's just the white version of the Hype Purple, although it's not quite as shiny. All right, so the five shades, um, I purchased three of the five. I have not seen all of them at one particular retailer. Uh, so I've actually ordered them from, I ordered them several weeks ago at this point from, let's see, I think I ordered some from Saks and some from Bloomingdale's. And, you know, they just came at different times. So I haven't really gotten this video up yet because I was waiting for one last one to arrive. So this first one is number 59. And this is the lightest shade out of the five in the collection. And here we go. So I'll put that right here. Okay, that looks really pretty. So I'm very excited to try this. This looks like a color I'm really gonna love. I love Rouge G lipsticks. I think they are a great formula. I love the satin finish. These are one of the few matte lipstick formulas that I actually like. And I really like having the cases that you can pick. So I'm gonna put this one in the white case. So that's number 59. I will do lip swatches after this. The next deepest shade that I have is number 66. So here's the box for that. And this is a deeper rosy color. There we go. This looks really nice too. It's a little bit darker than what I wear on a typical day, like daytime look, but it's definitely something I would wear a lot for like a night out. So it's actually, let me just see. It kind of reminds me of, what is this one? Number 96 from the winter collection holiday no this one's definitely 96 is definitely more brown it just kind of reminded me of a darker version of that but I guess my memory was wrong <laughs> so the last one that I purchased was 81 and this was the one that was really hard for me to find um because I think I forget which store I found it at first but it was it was out of stock they had it listed but you couldn't actually purchase it and then when I purchased it I didn't realize that it was technically back ordered. So I I got this one last. <laughs> so this is the one that's supposed to be like purpley. And you can see it it looks more of like a, a mauvey purple. It's not like it's not a purple lipstick, but when they showed the, the original swatches of it, it actually looked more eggplanty. So it's definitely way more rose than I was expecting, but it's a really pretty color. Um I wouldn't say it's purple though at all. So Real quickly, we've got 59, 66, this part here is 96 from Holiday, and then this one is 81. All right, and if you are not familiar with the Rouge G lipsticks, 
They do have a little number code back here so you can identify which color you have because, you know, obviously you're not reading anything off the bottom of the tube. So it is printed down here, but it is a little hard to see because this is a reflective tube. So sometimes you kind of have to get it in the right lighting to see what the number is. So um, that is on there. And this one is going to go into the high purple case and I will put the other one. What did I do with that? Oh, here it is. I'll put, the, <laughs> I'll put um, number 66 in the romantic bohem for now. So the only thing about the romantic bohem is your tube doesn't match the actual um, case. So um, you kind of get that mixed metal look, which I like. I have mixed metals all over my house. All right, so I'll be right back with the first lip swatch and I'll see you in a second. Thanks. Okay, so I'm back and this is number 59. So it's this shade here. And I really like this color a lot. This is definitely going to be a great um, daytime color for me that I'll probably wear very frequently. So it's a little bit of a warmer pink, more like watermelony. And, you know, I just, I love the texture. It's very smooth. It's got a little bit, you know, it's a satin finish. So it's got a little bit of a shine, but no real glitter. It's still got that natural, but amped up look. So I really like it. It's a little bit, you know, of a watermelony pink. So um, definitely something that I'm going to wear a lot of. All right, I will be back with the next one, 66. Okay, so I'm back with number 66. And again, I really like this color too. So it's um like a rosewood shade. And so it's this one here. So from here to here. And it's kind of like a, a, a rosewood pink. And you know, I was thinking that I probably wouldn't wear this much in the daytime, more for a night out, but wearing it on the lips, I actually think um, maybe not so much in the summer during the day, but definitely like fall, winter time. So I really like it and I think I'll probably be wearing it more frequently than I initially thought. So I'll be right back with the last one. Thanks. Okay, so I'm back with the last one. This is number 81. This was the one that I thought was more purpley. And I have to say, I think that this is, maybe there's like a hint of purple in there. I think it's basically kind of like a cooler version of 66 because they both kind of have the same depth of color. And um, it's just that this one's a little bit cooler toned. So the other one's more, you know, rosewood. It's more uh, a warmer neutral shade, whereas this is definitely more um, cooler neutral. So overall though, I really like all three of these shades. The other two that I didn't purchase, um, I'll put descriptions of those up uh, up here <laughs> on the screen so you can see those. But um, again, I'm not sure, they might all be out now, but when I ordered, I couldn't find all five at one place. And the other two I didn't order, I was kind of on the fence about. So I don't know if I'll pick them up or not. Uh, there was at least one more that was kind of thinking about getting and one that, uh, you know, I thought was probably going to be too warm for me. So I'm not sure. Uh, this shade, I really like. I think if I had to, you know, kind of rank these three, my favorite would be the number 59, the watermelon pink, followed by this one that I have on, number 81, and then number 66. So just with my my coloring, um, that's just my, my personal preference. But again, uh, I really love these lipsticks and I really love how Guerlain makes, you know, the cases separate from the tube so you can easily mix and match them. And it's a, a little bit more sustainable to replace. Um, although I don't know how they could do it, but it would be nice if we could come up with another way to, to reuse this part too. Um, anyway, just a little side note and that's it. So thank you so much. Um, again, I know I had up last week, the Guerlain Rouge cherry blossom lipsticks. I'm going to keep my eye out. Somebody did post, I, I can't remember off the top of my head right now who it was, but somebody posted that it was apparently a sex exclusive. So I don't know if they'll be coming back or not. I talked to somebody at sex and they said they don't know. They could potentially get more shipment. 
Um, but honestly, I don't think the person I spoke with was that knowledgeable. So, you know, I'll keep an eye out. If I see anything, I will definitely post it. And with these, again, these are all part of the permanent collection. And um, there should be some new lipsticks with a different shape coming out soon. I just saw a picture. So I will um, hopefully be talking about those with you guys soon. So thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed this. And questions, comments, suggestions, please leave them down below. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I hope to see you soon. So thank you so much and have a great day.